Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I'm going to introduce you to the, the, one of the new features we have recently added to Zenfi uh, called Zenfi Tables. Zenfi Tables basically you can take off of them as a really powerful yet easy to use database for your processes. The experience of using uh, tables at Zenfi is uh, very similar to using uh, one of the spreadsheet products and it's really easy to use. And the best of all, they're really integrated into Zenfi. Now, um, if you click on the Zenfi on, on the tables on the left-hand menu, you see a list of list of tables that uh, you have already created. You can create a new one by clicking on a new button here. Um, you can give it a name. I call this NDA NDA's demo. Say I want to create a table um, to store all the NDA requests coming in and I keep, want to keep track of where everything is at and also pro potentially find NDAs. When you create a Zenfi table, by default you always get this uh, field called primary field. This is a, you cannot edit, uh, you cannot delete this field, but you can edit the field. You can, for example, I want to rename it and call it ID or, or NDA ID. So basically this field, you can think of it as a, as a way to uniquely identify a new row added to this table. Once you, you've uh, renamed that, or you don't have to rename it, but you can rename it, uh, you can come here and add more columns. For example, here I'd say um, requester name, and I can say select the data type. Uh, you've, got a, you've got various data types you can select from. Uh, single line and string, line text, and all the way to um, different types of um, data you can select from here, data types. Uh, so I create, um, for example, I want to add a, a company name. That's a company name we're sending to, it's also a single line. Um, the string, probably I want to add a request uh, time. It's a date time when the request is sent. So I can select date time in this case. I can also specify the format. I want to display the date and the time. It's a friendly format. And this one go and show uh, actually 12 hour format. Um, I can also add, for example, another field called uh, the status. What's the status of um, the process? You know, someone has submitted it. It's legal reviewing it. It's sent for. Um, um, awaiting to be signed by the third party or is, is it signed. So you've got different options. For this one I can select single select. Um, the beauty of selecting single select is that later in another video we show you, you can use it to visualize the data and a, as a Kanban uh, uh, view. So this one I say um, um, waiting for, for legal um, sent for Sig uh, uh, signature for sent to be signed. Signed and last is signed. You can also change the colors and you can reorder these ones as well. Um, once you've done it, um, you can definitely intra um, interact with the table from here. You can, for example, come and add a new row. I can say one, a requester name is um, John Doe, company name is Acme, request time is now, and the status is waiting for legal. And as you can see, it shows up here. But you really, really would be interacting with tables directly, and normally you want to interact with the tables uh, through your process flow, or to the apps you create, Zenfi apps that you create. But however, you've got the options to do it. Now, I've got another table which already created, maybe I switch to this tab, uh, NDS. This one has got um, a lot of a lot more fields into it, you know. Uh, for example, we wanted to capture how long does it take on average for a legal time to approve an NDA. So we added approval duration and a company name and a recipient. So this is, and then also you can um, click on each record to view it in more detail, and also you can 
um, add a new record or delete the record as well direct to pump here. Once you're in this view, um, you can um, apply sorting by clicking here and click say I want to sort based on um, approval duration and I want to do it um, uh, ascending. Press save and as you can see the sort it gets shorter. You can also uh, filter the result. You can for example go and say at uh, one or multiple condition for example you say where manager name um, contains Adam or uh, office equals to London uh, etc. You can see uh, it um, filters the view based on that. Now let's head to a Zenfi flow and see how you can interact uh, easily interact with uh, the tables from within uh, Zenfi flows. So I've already created this flow. Um, now if you scroll down here you see a set of actions uh, which are related to Zenfi tables. First thing I want to show you is create record. You just drag and drop it and like everything else in Zenfi you, you start configuring. Now let's go and select the uh, for example, the uh, NDA um, table we created. And here you can say, why, when I'm creating a new um, record, these are the field values I want to specify. And potentially, I want to specify these ones. You can partially do them, or you can do them at the same time. And from here on, what is just interacting with any other uh, Zenfi uh, action? You can select dynamic value, or you can hard code value here. And um, for status as well, you can either uh, select one of the possible values, for example, because it was a single select, or you can select from the, one of the previous um, actions, uh, the output from one of the previous action or from a trigger. Um, so that's what, 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 what happens when you create a record. It comes back with a unique identifier that Zenfi assigns to that record. Remember here you can specify your own identifier, but on top of that also Zenfi uh, gives you a unique identifier for that record. Uh, this one is really important when you want to um, delete a record, because when you're deleting a record, you need to have, you first of all, um, select the same uh, table and say unique identifier. Can, or if you know it, you can hard code it, or you can go and, for example, get this one uh, and say, go and delete this one, this record. Or when you want to update a record, you, you need to give it uh, the unique identifier of the record. For example, I go and select this one, and I say, go and, you know, the record we just created. Uh, get the ID and then I want to update the status for example here I want to update the status only and set it to signed it's done so that's where you, how you use a unique identifier but don't worry um, if you don't know the unique identifier you can um, also uh, look up a record or multiple record based on a condition for example if I drag and drop it here I can say this is basically um, uh, looking up one record based on a, a one or more condition. I say, I can say, go to this table and get me. Um, uh, if I know the ID that I've assigned, I can say ID equals to one, two, three. That's one way of doing it. Or I can go and say, you know, where the requester name um, equals to John. Um, John Doe and uh, a status equals to, for example, a waiting manager approval. Now, what this action does, it goes and uh, starts searching to the table, and uh, this one will only return the first uh, record which is found matching this criteria. So the output of this one um, is going to be one record, and we can specify which fields uh, to return. So you don't have to return the whole fields. If you just need just a few fields for a record, you can uh, return that one as well. So if I go and show you, uh, the output is one record. Uh, if I want to update this record, again, you see always comes with the record ID. I go here, and I say, you know, go and get the record ID from lookup record. And update it. So, okay, so uh, one more time this action only 
uh, returns one record. So if you have a specific record, you know someone, for example, you want to look up someone by email, and you know the output is going to be only one. Okay, this is the one. Uh, this is the action you want to look. However, uh, we've got search record action, which is similar to lookup, except it returns a multiple result, a collection of records. Uh, that collection could be an MTB if it, there's no matching, or it could be multiple as well. For example, you can go and say, get me all the NDAs where a status equals to uh, signed and say uh, office equals to London. So this one is going to go and uh, search through the table and try to find all the NDAs sent out, which is status are uh, signed and um, they are all from the London office. So there could be zero, there could be many, and then here you've got a few more configurations as well. You can specify the fields to return and say return basically all the fields. And then uh, I can say, you know, return 10,000 or 1,000 or 500 um, results. If I look at the output, as you can see, the output is a collection of the rows. And also it tells you the total number of rows as well. Uh, normally what you want to do normally, what happens after that, you normally uh, interact with the output of uh, search records in a loop. Uh, because uh, if you want to take an action for each one of the items in the um, in the result, and here you can go and say, for example, update each one of them, set the status of each one of them. I get the record ID to uh, for whatever reason you may want to send it for review again, send it to manager approval. You can do that as well. Um, so I did the last one was the get record. If you know um, a specific record ID, you can go and get uh, more information about from it as well, and you can also specify the fields to return. So and um, you can use these many times to uh, these actions many times towards your uh, flow, um, and they, as you can see, they really very well integrated with Zenfi. So. Uh, makes it easier to you to have a date built-in database for your processes. But you can still go ahead and use something like Google Sheet, uh, which is really powerful. But using Google Sheet as a database is um, comes with a set of issues in terms of you know the number of times you can read and write and um, accessing the records and also doing complex queries. I'm I'm sure this will help you uh, a lot while automating your processes and uh, please feel free to reach out to us uh, if you've got any questions or suggestions. Thank you very much.